viewers welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought a very interesting classic challenge it has featured so many times in our uh, uh, test series and uh, also I have seen this question featured in so many test series of other institutes so uh, this is a Harvard challenge uh, problem uh, from uh, Harvard problem of the week 89 and it's about rope between the inclines and uh, some students were facing difficulty with this one so i decided to do a video on this one so let's straight away get into the problem okay so here's the problem okay uh, a rope uh, rests on two platforms which are both inclined at an angle theta which is which you are free to pick so this is one incline let me use another color so this is one inclined plane and this is the other inclined plane and there's a rope resting between them like this. So part of the rope is hanging in air and the part of the rope is lying symmetrically on the inclines. Okay. So this is the situation. Uh, okay. And we can choose theta uh, and we'll uh, get to know what do we need to do. So rope has to, uh, the rope has uniform mass density and the coefficient of friction of the platform is one. So here mu is equal to one that is given. Okay. The system has left right symmetry. What is the largest possible fraction of the rope that does not touch the platform? So we want to maximize this fraction which is not touching the platform. Okay. What angle theta allows this maximum value? So we need to find out the f and we also need to find out the theta for which uh, this f is uh, maximum. Okay. So if you want you can give it a try. I'll get into the solution right away. So let's see. Okay. <coughs> so so here we are okay so uh, I'm making the free body diagram of this part so let's say this is this fraction is f so total is unity and out of this this fraction is f fraction and accordingly by symmetry this is 1 minus f upon 2 and this is also 1 1 minus f upon 2 okay because everything should add up to 1 right so this is the f fraction so it has got a mass fmg right and let's say tension over here is t so here also let's say just at this boundary let us say tension is t so tension is acting along the tangents of this curve okay so we can say that uh, 2 t sin theta so horizontal angle this so t sin theta and t sin theta are balancing this mg so t 2 t sin theta should be equal to fmg fair enough vertical force balance for the part hanging in air then uh, now consider the fbd of this part this much that's lying on the incline so here we have this tension t acting downward so tension t acting downward there's some normal reaction and uh, when we are maximizing obviously we are using friction to the fullest so the friction is limiting it's at the verge of slipping so here there is normal reaction and this is mu n okay okay so now uh, i'll consider the force balance in this direction as well as this direction okay so if we consider the force balance in this direction what do we get see uh, so normal reaction uh, n should be equal to 1 minus f by 2 into mg cos theta right because this is 1 minus f by 2 so this is 1 minus f by 2 mg and then this becomes 1 minus f by 2 mg cos theta so there's a force balance in this direction and now what about force balance in this direction so upward force is mu n and downward force is t and plus uh, mg sin theta of this one so t plus 1 minus f by 2 mg sin theta now if you consider equations 1 2 and 3 what are the unknowns we have we have t we have f and we have n so what we can do we can eliminate t and n and we can solve for f so let's see what do we get so if we eliminate n and t and we solve for f uh, i have uh, not done the entire dirty work here but uh, uh, if you just eliminate little bit of mass you can solve for f and this is what you get and now I can of course put mu equal to 1 in this and then some simplification if you put mu equal to 1 so this becomes 1 minus tan theta and you multiply sin theta inside so this becomes sin theta minus sin square theta upon cos theta and this is cos theta plus sin theta in the denominator again multiply denominator and numerator by cos theta so this and now here uh, see denominator becomes cos square theta plus sin theta cos theta and numerator is sin theta cos theta minus sin square theta so what I can do sin square theta I can write as 1 minus cos square theta. So this becomes what then numerator becomes sin theta cos theta plus cos square theta minus 1 and this is the same thing in denominator and uh, let's call this as f of theta. So this becomes f of theta minus 1 divided by f of theta where f of theta is this part and uh, you can further simplify this is 1 minus 1 upon f theta see. So I just need to focus on now capital F of theta right. So if uh, capital F of theta is maximized automatically small f is maximized okay? because this is 1 minus something 
okay so uh, subtraction term should be minimum so that means what denominator should be maximum right so now uh, i'm writing capital f of theta as this one and this if you see carefully this is sine 2 theta upon 2 and this one is 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2 okay so derivative of f theta i make it zero so that gives you this this derivative will become cos 2 theta and this derivative will become minus sine 2 theta okay is equal to zero so tan 2 theta is one or we can say 2 theta must be pi by 4 or theta must be pi by 8 so this is our final answer okay so if you have theta is equal to pi by 8 then uh, f of theta so uh, then f you can di directly get from here okay so uh, yeah so f of theta is uh, half sine 2 theta okay so uh, half sine 2 theta becomes what see uh, so 2 theta is pi by 4 so this becomes what then so this becomes uh, sine of pi by 4 is uh, uh, 1 by root 2 okay so this becomes 1 by 2 root 2 and then cos of 2 theta this is also becomes 1 by uh, root 2 and then you can simplify and solve for uh, you put it here and you can solve for if i have not done that but uh, that's trivial okay so that's analysis of this problem i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you enjoyed the analysis please do give a thumbs up to this video and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp discord telegram or whatever medium you use for networking with your fellow students and most importantly if you are not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day and uh, uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and uh, as always god bless you all thank you